this presentation, we will export data that has been captured using Leica Captivate coding and line work commands via a style sheet to an ASCII text file that can be imported into Civil 3D or into Carlson ServCAD. We have a job called Parking Lot Topo, and I'm going to take you to the 3D viewer and show you the line work. I do have the points turned off in this example, but I wanted to show you that we have multiple edge of pavement lines, multiple back of curb lines, and paint stripes. So, I'm going to import a style sheet into our Leica controller so that we can export the data into an ASCII text file. So I'll go to settings, tools, transfer user objects, and we're going to set the object to transfer to a style sheet. The style sheet we've created is called ASCII Export CAD version 3. In this uh, style sheet we'll export an ASCII text file in the format of point number, northing, easting, elevation, and code separated by a comma. The code field will contain the code, the line number which was, cap which was created by Captivate, and the draw command. This is version 3. We do have intentions of uh, adding attribute export to this, so there will be future updates coming for this file. So I have placed this uh, style sheet on in the convert directory of a USB drive. Uh, as you know, if you work with like a Captivate, when you insert any, mem any memory device into your controller, it will create a directory structure, one of which directories will be called convert. So you place the style sheet in the convert directory, place that uh, memory device into your Leica Captivate controller and you're ready to transfer. So again, I've set my from here to be transferring from the USB drive. I'm going to put that file into the internal memory. So I'll press OK and that is done. So I don't wish to transfer any more objects, so I'll say no. Now we're ready to export our data. So we'll go into uh, our export directory and we'll select style sheet and we'll make sure that we have the correct job and the, the correct style sheet to use for the export. As again if you know if you work with Leica Captivate controllers you can export to any of the memory devices that you have attached to your device. In this case I'm going to transfer this file to the SD card. The file will be placed in the data directory and it will be a text file. So I'll go ahead and press OK. Now at this point I want to encourage you uh, to, you need to wait until this process is completely finished. So give it a few seconds. This, the time that it takes to do this will depend on the size of the file. So it's asking us if we want to export more data. So I'm, I'm going to uh, press OK here. And we're ready to take a look at our file. Now this file was a combination of data collected using a Leica GNSS receiver uh, from a Leica SmartNet uh, RTN network and also a total station. So one of the things you're going to see in the file is our reference station information which is denoted by this RTCM ref and then this is a reference station number. I know that when I import this file into CAD if this point is that uh, this line is at the top of the file that uh, Civil 3D is going to give me an error message so rather than uh, trying to import and then having to come back and edit the file I will go ahead and remove this information right now. So I'll delete that and I have opened up a standard drawing template and saved that template as a parking lot topo. So I'm now ready to import my data into this file. A few things I need to check first. Uh, first thing I want to do is go to settings here and make sure that I have the correct description keys. Uh, this should be established for each company that's uh, used to using Civil 3D. The next thing I would want to check is my figure prefix database. I just went down to survey and then I'll make sure if I have multiple figure prefix databases, I'll make sure I would want to use the one that, that would asso correctly associate the codes from my data collector into my drawing. And finally, there is one change that you need to make sure that you may need to make in your line work code set. In this case, I'm going to right click on this and open this up for editing. And we want to make sure that we have begin curve here set to be PC because that is what uh, our style sheet will export uh, the starting point of a curve uh, from our data uh, from our Captivate data will be labeled with a PC. So I want to make sure that that's set to PC and we'll press OK. So now we are ready to create a new survey database and import our points. 
So what I want to do is right click here on Survey Database, go to New Local Survey Database, give it a name. I'll call this parking lot Topo and press OK. And then here I'm going to click on uh, parking lot Topo and I'm going to import survey data. The first thing I want to do here is edit my survey database settings and I know from using this template in the past that it automatically starts the job in international foot. Now I'm working here in Virginia so I want to make sure that I use the US survey foot. Now your, your drawing template may already have this established but I know that this one does not. So once I have my settings correct I'll press OK. Select the correct um, survey database and press next and now I want to select my file. So I'm going to press the plus here and I have uh, stored this data on my desktop. So if I look here's my parking lot topo text file so I'll press open. Now once you've used this in Civil 3D uh, you, you may need the first time out to select the correct uh, file format but once you've used this once it should come up in a, and use the same format uh, but I would caution you to go ahead and check that each time. So it looks like our format is correct. We have point number, northern, easting, point elevation, and our description. Uh, if that everything looks good, we'll press next. I am not going to create a network, so I'll press next. And then just as a final check, I'll I have the option here to change my uh, figure prefix database. Uh, TG is the one we want to use for this job. And I'm going to make sure that I have insert survey points checked yes. Everything looks okay, so I'll press finish. And we do have um, uh, our line work just showed up, our points just showed up. Now one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to resize my attributes by changing my scale, which will resize the points and it'll allow us a little better view of our line work. And we'll zoom in and we'll see that it put in symbols for our manholes We'll see that it drew our uh, curves around our, our radiuses on our curbing. There's another manhole in our parking lot. And one other thing I wanted to show you is that if I select one of our lines, I can go up here to survey and then edit survey figure properties. And you'll notice that it does correctly associate our point numbers with our line work. So if I need to edit the survey figure, I can add or delete points at this point. So now I want to take the same file that we just imported into Civil 3D and import it into Carlson Survey. I am using Carlson Survey 2015 for this example. I have created a, a coordinate file called Parking Lot and I am using a drawing called Parking Lot. And I use the same template that I used in uh, Civil 3D to open this drawing so that I have my correct layers. Now one thing I want to check is I will go to Survey and I'll go to edit field to finish codes and I will look at my code list and in this case uh, I have a few codes in my code list and you can see here the code name, the description, uh, the symbols and the layers that they're going to use. If I wanted to I could edit one of my codes and you'll notice here some of the details. I have distinct point layers for my feature codes, I have distinct point layers for my 3D polylines and in this case I'm going to draw both 2D and 3D polylines where, where we have brake lines. So just many of the settings that you can do here in, in Carlson Survey. So again, uh, once I have everything set the way I want, I'm going to press exit. I haven't made any changes to my code list, so I'll say no. So then I will go to points and import a text ASCII file. Again, we're going to be importing the same file that we just ran into Civil 3D, so I'll select text, text ASCII. And I will uh, browse here, go to my desktop, select my parking lot topo and press open. You'll notice the same file that we, we just had. So I'll press open there. I will make sure that uh, my field, to, my draw points here is set to field to finish. And I will then go ahead and press OK. We get an option to define the type of ASCII file that we're bringing in. Everything looks good here, so I will press continue. Uh, I'm going to skip this. This is a it's, it saw one of our reference station points in the file. I think we had a couple of other those reference station points later down in our file, and I'm just going to skip that. Skip again. 
it's now read in 405 points so I'll press OK uh, you occasionally may see this multi code uh, found on a single point I'm just going to press OK there and you'll notice our line works drawing we do have a one point out here in the uh, a little far away uh, it's probably one of our reference station points so I am just going to zoom in here zoom again get a little closer and I'll just zoom in and center this up on the screen and what I want to do is resize my point attributes so I'll go to points Size my point attributes. I'm going to scale those and we'll take them down to a tenth of their original size. Scale all of them. And there we can see our line work. Select one of my lines and you'll see that we have a polyline. 